Okay, so the next thing we have is Eulerization. And Eulerization is taking a graph which does not have an Eulerian circuit, but it does have an Eulerian walk, and duplicating edges to create an Eulerian circuit within the graph. Okay, so it's the process of adding edges to create an Eulerian circuit. But it's not just adding random edges. You can't just, you know, create edges where there wasn't one before. You actually have to duplicate the edges. So the edges have to have existed to begin with in the original graph. So let's look at that, you know, that basic graph that we know is not an Euler graph, but does have an Eulerian walk in it. So we have A, B, C, D. Okay. And one of our Eulerian walks is we go from B to D, D to C, E to B, B to A, and A to D. So that process. So let's just write that down again. B, D, C, B, A, D. Now, if you want an Eulerian circuit, we need to basically end where we began. So we need to have something connecting to the B. Then you think about it and you go, okay, which one do we duplicate? And in this case, it seems pretty simple that we can we have a connection from D to B. So we can literally just add it there as is. And there's actually a rule about how you're going to approach this. So you don't you, there was another way that we could have done this. So we could have gotten back to B by going, you know, D to C and then C to B. So we could have had C and then B. Or we could have gone an even longer route. Well, not really a longer route. We could have gone D to A and then A to B. And that also would have gotten us to this B, right? So you could duplicate your light green or your dark green versions of on this graph. However, when you're doing this, Obviously, the idea is to not add unnecessary edges to the situation. So what you would actually do in this process, and I know we're looking at a graph that doesn't have weights, or you can classify all the weights to be one, is you'd actually look for the shortest path or the sh to, from your odd vertices to your odd vertices. So you know your Eulerian walks will begin at odd vertices and end at odd vertices. Then you'll look for the shortest way to get from the odd vertice that you ended with to the odd vertice that you began with to create that circuit. And you want the shortest way because again the whole idea behind this is you end up using all their walks to basically do things like your flight plans and stuff and you don't want a constant like overlapping unnecessary overlapping situation. The whole idea behind the Eulerian circuit is you only go through the edges once so when you are creating an Eulerization, you really don't want to go against that kind of rule multiple times. You want to do it the least amount of time possible. So you look for the shortest way to get from the odd vertice to the other odd vertice. And we know how to find that out. We know how to work out the, short, the length of the shortest path between two vertices. We've done it before. So we look for this shortest path, the distance of the short, the length of the shortest path, and go through that approach. So this leads us to something else, where we can work out the length of the Eulerian circuit. So in the event that obviously it is an actual Eulerian circuit, it's just the sum of all the weights of the edges. But now, when you only have an Eulerian walk and you perform an Eulerization, the length would be the sum of all the weights of the edges plus that, you know, that addition thing where U and B are the odd degree vertices. So when you perform an Eulerization, you'd actually use Dijkstra basically to determine the shortest path between the two vertices, and then you'll utilize that path. So you wouldn't use 
you know, going from D to C, C to D, or from D to A, A to B, you would utilize that direct D to B because it is shorter. It is just, um, your length of one versus the others are length of two. So you choose the shortest one as the one for your Eulerization. And then you'll work out your length of your Eulerian circuit there is the sum of all the weights plus that addition that you've traveled to actually get back, you know, to the original to get the Eulerian circuit. So it would be that plus that DB or AB. Okay, just a heads up. This should actually be a D. Okay, so you would add that because those, those are the edges that you're going to traverse. So the distance or the shortest path that you create there are the extra additional edges that you create and the additional edges that you're going to transverse to finalize your Eulerization, the Eulerian circuit.